In this segment of the Family Data Webinar, we'll be discussing scheduling. Scheduling might be interesting to you if your center charges based on scheduled hours, or perhaps the difference between scheduled hours and attended, or if you need to convey a roll call report to the teachers that lets them know that a particular child is not there on a certain afternoon or is not there for a certain number of hours. Again, there is a separate webinar on this if you're interested, which is just on scheduling. So let's go to Peter Adams and click on the schedule button for him and say that he has a new schedule and it starts here and it ends, let's say on 630. The toddler room is where he will be. And we have him Monday from seven to six. Let's say he's a three day per week child. I'm going to hit tab. I want to copy day, copy day, and I can just change these to Wednesday and Friday. That's it. He's got a schedule and on any of the reports that specify schedules, he will be there just three days a week. So that I don't have to keep reinventing the wheel on any three-day toddler classroom, I can use the save as template, call it three-day toddler, save it. And what that does is let's say the next toddler I get that's on the same schedule, I'm gonna down arrow till I find a toddler, Eugene. I'm going to click on his schedule, say new. I do need to put in his start and end dates for that particular schedule. But here I'm just going to select my three-day toddler program. Maybe he's only here two days a week. I can go there and simply delete the day that he's not in it, and I can save it, and I could make that a template if I wanted to. There's his schedule. If I wanted to make exceptions, there's something called exceptions and overrides, which is the red item here. And in here, I can say this child will be absent on a certain date, and it essentially punches a hole in his schedule so that the teacher or anybody else would know that he was not going to be there on a particular day for whatever reason. And you can save this, and that immediately punches a hole in the schedule so that it will show he's not there. I'm going to click on review. There he is that he's out sick. The advantage of schedules is not only for the purposes of knowing if a child is going to be there, but you can also use scheduling for employees and then you can run reports to know whether the number of scheduled children agrees with the number of scheduled employees given whatever your ratios are. In terms of reports, any report will reflect whatever you have for the schedules at that time. In family data, if you go over to the schedules under a particular report, such as roll call, as long as you run one that says schedule, you'll pick up the scheduled classroom versus the primary classroom. These are all covered in more detail on the scheduling webinar.